Hello students, I hope all of you are doing beautiful mathematics. Today, we will learn about equations in greatest integer function. I ex explain in detail a strategy that is very useful in solving them. If you are new to this channel, welcome. We work on outstanding programs on mathematical olympiads, physics olympiad, computer science olympiad, research projects for school students. You can check the link in the description for more detail. So this problem from American math competition is actually very interesting. It says that integer part of x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. We want to find out all such values of x such that this equation holds true. Now what is integer part of x? Maybe you already know this but I'll just quickly review it. Integer part of x is the largest integer smaller than x. The largest integer smaller than x. So I'll give you an example. The integer part of 2.3 is 2. 2 is the largest integer smaller than 2.3. Similarly, the integer part of negative 3.1 is negative 4. Negative 4 is the largest integer smaller than negative 3.1 right so integer part of x means this we want to see how many such values of x are there such that integer part of x when squared minus 3 times x itself plus 2 is 0 how many solutions are there of this equation so i'll tell you a strategy that usually works with this sort of problems what you do is you start with x, any number x, and you write it as a sum of an integer and a fraction. The fraction is always greater than or equal to 0. The integer can be positive, negative, or 0. Positive, negative, or 0. So, for example, let's say x is equal to 2.3. Then i will be 2 and f will be 3. 0.3. If x is equals to minus 3.1, then i is negative 4 and f is 0 0.9. Because negative 4 plus 0 0.9 is negative 3.1. Similarly, if x is equals to 5, then i is 5, f is 0. So the useful point to remember is that any number x can be written as a sum of its integer part and its fraction part. The fraction part is always greater than or equal to 0. We will use this te technique to actually solve this problem. Let's look at the equation one more time. It says integer part of x whole square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Suppose x is equal to i plus f then this equation can be rewritten as i square integer part of a x is just i minus 3 times i plus f plus 2 equal to 0 or i square minus 3i plus 2 minus 3f equal to 0. In other words, i square minus 3i plus 2 is equals to 3 times f. Now, now comes the analysis part. Notice that the left hand side is an integer because i square is an integer, minus 3i is an integer and 2 is an integer. So if you add and subtract things which are integer, they are integer. So the left hand part is integer. The right hand part, however, is can be also a fraction. So we must ensure that 3f is also integer. 3f must be integer in order to be equal to the left-hand side, which is an integer. An integer cannot be equal to a non-integer, right? This is the clever part. Okay, so how do we go about it? So what is 3, how can 3f be an integer? Well, there are only three cases. f equals to zero, the fractional part can be 0. f equals to 1 over 3, 
then 3 times 1 over 3, that 3 and 3 cancels off. So 1 over 3. Or f is equals to 2 over 3. That's all. You have to cancel, you have to have a denominator of 3 in order to cancel the 3 off. Otherwise, 3f can never be an integer. So these are the only three possibilities. f equal to 0, f equal to 1 by 3, f equals to 2 by 3. So let's plug in each of them. So first of all, when i square minus 3i plus 2 is equals to 3 times f is 0 minus 3 times 0. So that is 0. Now this one is easy because this is i minus 1 times i minus 2 is 0. So i is equal to 0 or i is equals to 1 or i is equals to 2. So x is i plus f but f is 0 in this case. So x is equals to 1 or x is equals to 2 as the first case, the easier case. Now let's make it 1 by 3. So again, i square minus 3i plus 2 equals to 3 times 1 by 3, which is 1, which means i square minus 3i plus 2 minus 1 equal to 0, i square minus 3i plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can use the quadratic formula. So you have i equals to minus of minus 3 plus minus root over minus 3 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 1 by 2 times 1. This is just the quadratic formula, right? So this is 3 plus minus root 5 by 2. Now there is a problem. The right hand side is clearly not an integer. And the left hand side is an integer. i is an integer. So there is no solution f equals to 1 over 3 does not yield any solution. Okay? The so final case, f is equals to 2 over 3. So, i square minus 3i plus 2 is equals to 3 times 2 over 3, which is 2. Now, I'll give you a challenge problem. Use this particular case and tell me what are the possible values of i and what are the possible values of x. Remember, to find x, you have to add the fractional part to i, right? If you can do it, put in the comment section with detailed explanation. The best commenter is usually awarded something and he is also asked to, he or she is asked to present in our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you keep on doing good mathematics. I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in outstanding programs on mathematical sciences, check the link in the description. Bye. Take care.